watchers welcome back to the channel today i have here yup another piece from spinnaker watches uh, i can't remember how many i've done now but you know they do keep coming up with some very interesting ones so this is uh, no exception this one is actually a pretty interesting set of pieces so let's just open up this typical blue box that they provide uh, us these days at least influencers uh, so just to let you know there is a bit of a guide for photos there a little bit of a tag and then underneath there is a microfiber cloth for cleaning the watch nothing much more than that these days in the packaging okay that's what you get and let's just show this to you so guys what we have here is the new release Spinnaker Hull California Edition. So this is SP5071. Uh, 01 is the, the sum model number for this one for the, the color variation. Now it does come in a different uh, uh, I think a combination of uh, colors, including one with a black PVD. Okay, so this is this particular watch. Uh, what I also want to review in conjunction today is this, uh, I guess, a sister product. So this is the... the uh, limited edition tactical version of this watch uh, of the whole California edition so they're, they're kind of the same watch uh, in many many ways but in some of the cosmetic uh, you know decorations they're obviously quite different watches so uh, I'm going to review them uh, side by side now 507101 this one is 04 for the tactical version uh, just to let you know you may have seen this review before. This is the original Spinnaker Hull. So this is SP5059. This was reviewed quite a while back. It is one of my favorite Spinnakers. I think, in my opinion, the best looking Spinnaker I have received. And this, you know, now they've released an update. Uh, I guess it's kind of a variation uh, of uh, this watch, which came up quite a while ago. And to be honest, this original Spinnaker hull is one of my favorite pieces. Uh, it is actually uh, on that list of top five under three hundred dollar watches that I put, and I still have this, you know, and I will be keeping this watch because it really is something that I have liked. Uh, today I have this on a Spinnaker NATO strap. Now I'll, I'll go into the the Spinnaker strap program uh, a little while later in more detail. Okay, so that's the side by side, and I'll show you a little more about that later as well. Okay, so. Talking about this specific model here, along with that in conjunction, of course. Uh, now, let's just talk about the movement a little bit first. Uh, none other than the Seiko NH35A. This is exactly the same as it was in the original specs down the left side of the screen there. Not going to read this out. In this case, it does have uh, a uh, date complication that is implemented uh, at a three o'clock window. And pleasingly, in this case, it is actually implemented on the uh, black disc with white writing so they've at least swapped that out uh, for a black disc which is a, it's a nice thing to actually at least try to match that dial rated accuracy you can see there on the left uh, in actual use this is is running stonkingly well it's running plus six seconds per day uh, just to let you know this other watch as well the tactical edition this is even better if anything plus four seconds per day over the last five days i've had this in use Okay, so those are the, the watches uh, movements there. Now let's just get into the case here. Okay, the case here is 42 millimeter diameter, 316 L steel. Thickness is 15.5 millimeters. Uh, that's taking the top of the glass there and the lug width here is 22 millimeters. Uh, lug to lug distance is 48 millimeters between my thumbs there. So pretty modest and just to clarify, these are exactly the same dimensions as the original Spinnaker hull, which you know I showed here. Um, you know, no difference in the actual uh, dimensions, and that's also the same for the tactical, as you might expect. Now, weight-wise, this watch on its original leather strap is only 93 grams. Uh, the tactical, as you can see here, comes with a vulcanized rubber, which is slightly heavier than the original leather. This one is 101 grams, so dimensions the same. It's also 316L steel, slightly higher because of the strap. All right, finishing wise, so you know you can you can see me as I pan the watch around. You've probably seen a lot of this already. Uh, brush on the the bezel there, fixed metal bezel. Uh, polished top surface of this cushion case. Uh, longitudinal brushing on the top surface of the lugs there. Uh, polished, right? Entirely polished on the side. Uh, the back actually has. 
uh, horizontal uh, or transverse brushing. You know, hopefully you can see that some of that there. The, the brushing actually goes in that direction there on the bottom. Uh, the screw down case back in this case is of course uh, completely polished as you can see there catching the reflection of myself in the camera uh, on the reflection there. Okay, so that's the, the finishing for the Hall of, uh, California uh, edition, right? The, the California Tactical Limited Edition is different. Okay, now it's got black PVD on the bezel, but everything else it's kind of these bead blasted, uh, very matte finish on that uh, 316 l steel, which is nice. You know, I, I quite like this, uh, what they call bead blasted finish. There's absolutely no gloss on it, which, you know, very, uh, very different. You know, it produces a very uh, different finished look uh, on this tactical edition here. Uh, the other tactical edition, there is an 05 model, is perhaps even more interesting. It's a black model, and that one they say is a titanium carbide black PVD, which, uh, you know, maybe I, sh I should have got that one. I didn't realize it was going to be titanium carbide. Uh, you know, I think uh, aesthetically I, I prefer this, but uh, out of interest that titanium carbide would have been an interesting one uh, to have in hand, I gotta say. Okay, so that's the finishing. Uh, now, uh, in terms of the actual construction, you can see it's a screw-in case back, right? Display case back. In this case, they've printed that spinnaker kind of part logo over the back there, which I, I think I don't really like that. I think a lot of people do complain if you're going to do a display case back, maybe just let us see the movement, even though there's not much to really uh, see in an NH35A, but you go to the trouble of doing that. Uh, let us see the movement rather than, you know, half block it. But, you know, say la vie, that's what it is. So screw in case back and screw in crown with uh, laser etching there. Right, that's similar on this one. Uh, it's just that it's it's matte rather than gloss finish. Right, uh, the the water rating they've gone for for this watch is uh, 100 meters, and I would think this is actually a full blooded 100 meter, meaning that you can swim with it. Uh, I wouldn't have any hesitation looking at the construction and the fact that it's got a screw down crown, not just a push crown. All right, that's just my feeling about this watch, and I've certainly taken the original Hull swimming without any problems whatsoever. All right, dial wise, moving on to the dial, which has got its own fascination. I really must say uh, there's really something uh, to be said here, right? It, it is what they call a granite texture dial in matte uh, kind of finish. And it's it's quite a looker, actually. I've really enjoyed looking at the, the richness of the texture of this dial here. Printed details, spinnaker at the top automatic and water resistant rating at the bottom, as well as a printed railroad style chapter ring around the outside, different from the original, right? It's got applied indices. And this, in this case, this is where the California uh, moniker comes from, right? It's got Roman numerals at the top half and uh, Arabic numerals down the bottom with uh, dashes for 369 and a triangle for the 12 o'clock, a la many, uh, you know, some vintage uh, watches in the past kind of had this uh, type of uh, dial arrangement, including Rolexes. Uh, as I understand it, the term California actually came up because a company in California, uh, in the States, actually did a lot of refurbishment of the old vintages with these type of dials, hence they kind of took on the name California. I think it, originally that probably wasn't the name uh, for this kind of dial arrangement, but this is what has evolved over time. Correct me if you know better and if, if I'm not wrong about that, but this is what my research uh, seems to suggest. Okay, same type of thing uh, for the tactical, right? Exactly the same, uh, I guess, features, black uh, granite style, granite texture dial there with railroad chapter ring printed details, as well as the same layout uh, of the California applied indices. It's just that in this case on the left, it's superluminova, kind of a more standard a green superluminova, uh, whereas this one is what they call a black formulation of superluminova. They say it's unique, but uh, I've seen other watches that, that have kind of black superluminova as well, so I'm not sure how unique this truly is. What I will say is that this loom doesn't function very well at all. It, it definitely does not function through the night. In fact, it only lasts I think less than an hour in terms of real functional use in the dark here. Okay, so that, that's really uh, the, the dial here. Now the hands, you can see brush metal, pencil style, baton hands here. Okay, the Superluminova is on the usual spots. So 
all the indices as well as the three seconds uh, minute and hour hands the second one being the lollipop uh, spot there and of course I'll put a loom shot uh, right here for you guys to see how this particular watch functions in the dark uh, now the tactical does look exactly the same except it, it kind of lasts very short uh, in duration okay so that that's really uh, the dial and loom on top of that we have a fairly nicely domed glass but it is glass it's actually hardened mineral glass it's not sapphire crystal and that may present a problem for some people considering this watch and i'll go into that again a little bit later right going into uh, the band then okay so this isn't the band this watch came in i usually don't do that but in this case this is the original spinnaker leather which is nothing more than the typical leather that many of their watches have come with and it, it's it's really average right i mean I, i've got nothing much more to say about the spinnaker leathers yes waterproof stitch leather but uh it is it, it doesn't uh it, it's nothing special okay just put it that way this is just a typical tan one that it came comes in this one is also a spinnaker strap but in this case what i have here is a product from their relatively new uh, strap program so all, all links for these products in the description below as well as discount codes uh, that i can find of course uh, so this is a hybrid uh, leather rubber strap so it's a uh, kausher rubber or natural rubber with a hybrid leather uh, surfacing uh, at the top here which is stitched into the rubber and you know you can see the original rubber down the bottom here and I gotta say, uh, you know, this really does lift this watch in terms of uh, comparing it to the original leather. This is, you know, leaps and bounds ahead of uh, the original. I, I really quite enjoy this. It is, you know, it does have a certain durability feel about it. And it's something that I, I you know, I, I think it enjo I enjoy the look as well. That black with that uh, kind of this tan color leather here it is a good look, I think. And it does match this watch particularly well as well so just so you know this is actually uh, a different strap but it is actually a spinnaker uh, strap there and then this one comes in a brush um, you know steel buckle which is the same as the original strap that this comes in uh, now this tactical as you can see and as I mentioned already is again different okay it, it doesn't have a leather and it does indeed have this uh, rubber which they call just you know a, a vulcanized rubber so presumably it's synthetic rubber of some form but it is quite durable it does feel not bad in terms of suppleness right pretty good and uh, you know it, it comes with this kind of uh, well look it's kind of bead blasted as well it's not brushed so it matches the case so good on them for for making that change there Okay, so those are the watches. Let me just try this one on for the wrist shot now. And there we have the new Spinnaker Hull California edition, uh, you know, in the standard steel case uh, on my 17 centimeter wrist. And this, because it's 48 millimeter lug to lug height, uh, you know, it actually sits on my wrist quite well. And I really do enjoy this case shape. Uh, and, you know, let me know what you think about how it looks but that there we have it okay so that's this watch and of course I will also show you uh, the tactical edition uh, on the wrist as well and there we have it that is the tactical edition right on my 17 centimeter wrist exactly the same case size you know but you know aesthetically a very different look on this different case finishing different strap okay just amazing how different it looks uh, with just those kind of cosmetic aesthetic changes. All right, guys, so that's uh, the description of these pieces here. What have I particularly enjoyed about uh, these pieces? Right, I, I think, uh, you know, the original hull, as I've said, uh, you know, right here, is one of my favorite spinnakers. In fact, the, the, the spinnaker which I think looked the best. And uh, this is a nice update of that, that model, you know, the update of my favorite spinnaker. Uh, again, it's got really quite good quality case craft. They do make nice cases, nicely done solid steel cases. Uh, and, and in this case, that cushion design is, is a neat one. I really like this cushion design, which is what makes this my favorite spinnaker. Uh, overall, it's a pretty neat package. It does have that NH35 workhorse movement, reliable movement. 
Uh, I think the DAO is pretty neat. You know, it's a great looking DAO with the, those textures there. Uh, the vintage indices, there's touch and go, but I think they've done a pretty good job, uh, particularly also with that vintage style uh, chapter ring there, that, that railroad chapter ring. And again, a nicely domed glass, right? So, so there's a lot of positives about this particular piece. And, uh, you know, I forgot to mention the price, but it is on sign up. This one will be $250. Uh, this Discount codes again down the bottom if I can find any uh, for you guys to use. This one's slightly more expensive, I think, because of the finishing. Uh, probably not just because of the strap, but because of the different finishing. 275 USD on sign up and, and all links for the sign up uh, at the bottom there. And just to let you know, the titanium carbide is listed at the same price, 275 USD. And for value, maybe I would kind of go for that one because it's a bit different, perhaps a bit more expensive to do titanium carbide PVD. All right, so that's, that's kind of the pricing. So for that pricing, the package is, is pretty good. You know, I think it's very, uh, you know, very hard to ask a lot more uh, for the price that they are asking. Now, uh, weaknesses, again, uh, same as the original hull, this dome mineral is kind of asking for trouble. You know, that's going to be the first thing you hit if you're going to, you know, hit this watch against a wall or something. Uh, more than likely, and with mineral glass, uh, I just I just wonder with regular use how much scratches I'm going to end up putting on this. I'm lucky that this other one hasn't picked up many scratches at all, but you know that's something I, I worry about being domed mineral. Uh, and then you know again I will mention the original strap. Uh, uh, yeah, you know there we go, original strap average, a rubber. A bit better, I think a lot better. I much rather prefer this one than the original leather. But if you're going to put on a one of their Spinnaker strap products, it, I think this is it's kind of worth the money. It really does uh, lift it a lot. And then lastly, I will say something I've mentioned already: the black loom is kind of just a gimmick. It's it's really almost non-functional at all for the tactical. Okay, this is just something to be aware of. Now, which one uh, would you rather prefer? Well, I think. The tactical is a really cool alternative. It's got a cool look. I really like the, the look that they've gone for here uh, with that dark stealth theme, everything being very dark, non-glossy. Uh, and it actually may have won me over if the loom worked as well as this one. This one is reasonable. It's not Seiko loom, but it's pretty good. You know, it lasts a few hours in darkness. This one doesn't at all. And because of that, I, I kind of gravitate more towards this particularly particularly if you're going to pair it with this strap. With the original leather, I think it's a little bit more of a close toss-up. But, you know, I've got this strap and definitely I'm going to go for this one uh, over the tactical. Personally, that's my choice. Now, against the, the original, right, it's again a little bit of a toss-up, right? You know, it comes down to the dial preference. Do you prefer the California dial? Let me know what you think about a California. Uh, or do you prefer the kind of Panerai style sandwich, which I really quite like as well. The handsets, as you can see, are exactly the same. So it comes down to, right, California versus Panerai sandwich, uh, granite versus this fume dial, and railroad chapter ring versus, or, you know, kind of more traditional more standard printed chapter ring there. Which one would you go for? You know, I, I'm torn, I'm torn, but because I'm not that partial to California, uh, I, I still probably will choose this one if I absolutely had to choose uh, a, a, you know, between these two. That's my opinion there. Okay, lastly guys, just to show you this NATO, this is a Spinnaker NATO, okay? Just to let you see that there. This is uh, what they call their seatbelt nylon NATO in 22mm and the colour here is khaki uh, with grey fringing here. Okay, they, they do come in different colour variations. Again, all product links at the bottom. Just show you this on the wrist now. Okay, so there we go. That is their seatbelt nylon NATO. Pretty good quality, as good as a lot of the seatbelt uh, NATOs out there. And this one actually goes quite well with this watch, but because it's a, you know, a, a real NATO with double layering underneath, it does kind of lift the watch off the wrist a little bit there. Okay, so that's their, their seatbelt NATO. Now, uh, wait, there is more. I do also want to quickly show you this other one, which is uh, what they call the FKM Vulcanized Rubber, which is pretty nice as well, you know, with this kind of this uh, matte hardware they have here. This vulcanized rubber is 
Uh, pretty darn good quality. And FKM apparently is a proprietary uh, elastomer a compound for rubber, which kind of gives it uh, allegedly uh, higher chemical and, uh, and temperature stability. That, that's what uh, my reading uh, tells me. Let me know if you know a little bit more about what this kind of vulcanized uh, elastomer rubber does, you know, this FKM. I think it's originally a DuPont product, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, based on you know the sources that I, I kind of consulted on this. Okay, let's just put this on. You know, it is a little bit firm on here, but uh, obviously it does sit like a rubber NATO. Okay, that's how it goes. Let's just show it to you on the wrist. And there we have it, the uh, spinnaker hull in uh, the on this uh, rubber. NATO uh, original spinnaker product as well. You know, very very comfortable. I must say, you know, it, it's partial to whether you like NATOs or not, and you may or may not. But uh, I tell you, the comfort level is definitely there for this product. Okay, so let's just take it off now, and there we have it, guys. My review of these new spinnaker hull models. You know, these two. Uh, in particular, let me know your thoughts uh, about what you think of these new models. There's, you know, sign up available right now and available for purchase uh, at the end of this month, uh, I believe. So take a look at Spinnaker website for more details if you wish. Uh, guys, thank you for sticking with me. As always, if you like my videos, do consider subscribing. New content every week, always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me and as always, I'll catch you guys next time.